I'm Debbie Godfrey. Welcome to the Positive Parenting Pep Talks podcast. There's four what we call mistaken goals, and this is a way of handling misbehavior when it occurs. And today I want to just give a little tiny brief overview of each of the four goals and what the child needs and what you can do to encourage your child. And the first goal we call the goal of undue attention. And in this goal, what the child needs is for you to notice her or him and involve him. So you want to redirect your child into a useful task. For example, I love you and I care about you and I'll spend time with you and soon as I finish what I'm doing here. And you want to avoid providing what we call special service to them. So you just want to say it once. I love you and I'll be with you in 10 minutes. And then you get on with what you're doing. And even if they're whining and they're crying, you can maybe rub their back a little bit, but you really don't want to engage with them because that's what causes them to continue the goal that we call of undue attention. And make sure that you spend lots of genuine encounter moment time. We've talked about that before, doing gems and to have special time. If you have more than one child, you'll want to have special like date time with each of the kids and take time for training them in terms of noticing them, involving them, touch them without using words, set up nonverbal signals, stay connected. So this child needs to be noticed, needs to be involved. The next goal is the goal of power. And in this goal, the child is needing to help and to be given choices. So one of the things that you want to do when a child's in the goal of power is acknowledge that you can't make his or him or her do something and ask for his or her help with something. And let me, let me give you an example of this making his or him or her do something. One time I had been having continued power struggles with Michelle over her getting dressed in the morning. And no matter what I did, I could not get her to get dressed. I tried everything. I tried the putting her in the car with her jammies on. I tried choices. I tried giving her incentives, taking away privileges, and nothing seemed to work. And finally, one day I was completely at my wit's end. We were about to be late for school. And I went into her room where she was, and you know, totally refusing to get dressed. And I said, you know, Michelle, I know no matter what I say or do, there's no way I can make you get dressed right now. And I just really admire your determination. And I just sat there and I loved her and I gave up. I just, there was nothing else I could do. I kind of surrendered to the fact that I couldn't make her do this in any way that felt good for me. And then after I admired her for a minute, I walked out and I didn't know what I was going to do next. I was sitting out in the living room trying to figure it out. And five minutes later, she walked out fully dressed and I never had that level of problem with her again. So something about surrendering or letting go when you're in power struggles with, with children can be a way to, to handle the power struggle, to get out of the power struggle. So a few other tips on, on the, in terms of when you're in a power struggle is to offer limited choices, to withdraw from the conflict and give yourself a chance to calm down. It's not giving into the fight. It's letting yourself have a few moments to pull yourself together. Let the routines be the boss. So routine, routine, routine is really important here in getting help from the child to set reasonable and few limits. So make sure that there's limits in place, but that there, there's also freedom and responsibility. Practice following through, redirect to positive forms of power, and use family meeting time to help redirect that. And I guess I'm going to have to spend tomorrow talking about the goal of revenge and the goal of inadequacy. Have a great day and happy parenting. I hope you enjoyed today's episode of the Positive Parenting Pep Talks podcast. For those of you that don't know me, I'm Debbie Godfrey, owner and founder of PositiveParenting.com. I hope you'll go and check out my website and follow me on Instagram and let me know about what you thought about today's episode. Did you learn something new? Were you able to do something different with your children? Did you have a success story? Those are my favorite to share. Let me know. Contact me. I'd love to hear from you. And also, what future topics would you be interested in hearing about on the Positive Parenting Pep Talks podcast? Thank you so much for being here and for all of your support. Take care and happy parenting. Take-